If they had never met, a thriving little boy would be alive today. The words of Arthur Labinjo Hughes' grandmother, as a judge jailed what he called a pitiless father and his calculating girlfriend. He said Emma Tustin and Thomas Hughes had relished making Arthur suffer. He's banged himself the radiator, he's hit me, he's kicked me. In the Repeatedly lying about the campaign of torture and violence they inflicted on this once contented six-year-old boy. Jailing Tustin for at least 29 years, the judge said she was a manipulative woman who would tell any lie and shift the blame onto anyone to save her own skin. Sentencing Thomas Hughes to 21 years, he said you were Arthur's father in a position of trust and bore the prime responsibility for protecting him. Tustin didn't even come into court to hear her sentence. The judge said the pair of them had subjected Arthur to unimaginable suffering, behaviour that was often spiteful and at times sadistic. Videos shown to the jury were of a frail, thin child who could barely stand after being beaten, starved and poisoned with salt in the last three months of his life. In a victim impact statement to the court, his paternal grandmother Joanne Hughes today claimed he was failed by the authorities after she'd sent social workers a photograph showing bruises on Arthur's back two months before he died. Tonight, the Prime Minister said he's glad justice has been done, but that tough sentences are no consolation. What we've got to make sure now is that we learn the lessons about that case. We look at exactly uh, what happened, uh, what else could have been done to protect that child. And it, it is early days, but I can tell you this, we will leave absolutely no stone unturned to find out exactly what went wrong in that appalling case. But this senior Conservative MP is concerned the wider system is still letting children down. We've got social workers who are severely stretched, feeling rather uh, burnt out, and we have the pandemic coming along, making the job that much harder uh, as well. There's a combination of reasons behind this, uh, uh, this, this case, but too often it's the same old reasons reheated, and we've really got to tackle that. In her statement to the court, Arthur's mother revealed his body still lies in a mortuary because the families involved can't agree on his burial. Another distressing detail in the relentless tragedy of this poor little boy.